you know that whenever you burn MDF, you release formaldehyde, which is a respiratory irritant? That's why in this video, we're going to talk about why you need to have smoke extraction on your laser. In addition to the formaldehyde, you've also got carbon monoxide, which will cause headaches, dizziness, nausea. It smells bad, and if you don't have smoke extraction, your chamber will fill up with smoke, and then your products end up smelling like whatever you're burning. If you're making small items like earrings or jewelry, you don't want your stuff to smell like smoke. All right, so first thing you gotta do is figure out what you actually have to buy. I bought a six inch fan, eight feet of six inch hose, and a six inch vent to go on the outside of my shop. Everything else I had came with the laser. I was actually lucky enough to get this from a friend of mine that got a much bigger laser and he didn't need this one anymore. So it came with the enclosure and the pipe on the left side of it. All right, now that we know what all we need, let's get to work. So I cut this hole out and then the next tricky part is making sure that the hole on the outside matches the hole on the inside. What I did was I took my sliding T-square and held it flush against the wall, pushed it all the way in and then marked. That way I knew outside edge of my hole lined up. It worked out pretty well in the end. You'll see how, uh, how it worked out, but you just mark a couple of points and then draw a straight line across those points and then you mark right here in the middle after you mark in the middle drill a hole and the secret here is leave the drill bit in the hole you'll see why here in just a minute it makes it so much easier to find the hole on the other side of the wall all right so in order to know exactly where to drill or to cut my hole i ended up taking my measuring tape and i measured three inches in both directions up and down and then held my template up and marked up the hole. Uh, you'll see I had to recut it here in a little bit because I didn't quite measure everything properly, but it worked out in the end. All right, so what I did here was I went ahead and put on the vent before I shoved everything in the wall. Made it a lot easier. I remember a second ago whenever I said it was not big enough, there's what I was talking about. Yep. I. Uh, I measured the outside of the vent, the flange on the back. I didn't measure the outside of the hose. So quick, easy fix though. I took and measured around the outside of the vent and then remarked it, cut it out, and it was good to go. If you're gonna be putting a vent like this on the outside of the house, use a little bit of caulk or some kind of a sealant to make sure that it's as weatherproof as it can be. I realize there's a six inch hole here now, but at least water won't drain straight into it. All right, back inside the shop now, we've got the hose through the wall. Next step is going to be to mount this fan and then we'll stick the hose on it and we'll be good to go. I wasn't sure exactly how well this all was gonna work. So I just used duct tape and I, I think I'm gonna leave it that way. It, it's, it's not a, a prize winning machine. It's not gotta look pretty, it just needs to work. And plus the duct tape seals it up pretty well. All right, last thing I did was I took and mounted the controller to the top of my laser enclosure and screwed it down right next to the computer. So whenever I click start on a cut, I can turn the exhaust fan on and it's good to go. 